What's going on, Lego friends? It's your boy Iceberg here, and I'm back with another Just My Two Cents of Lego review. This set was given to me by the Lego group. It is the Marvel's Infinity Saga Captain America shield. In all its glory here, we're going to dive into some of, uh, some of the critiques and some of the things I think about it. And please tell me some of the things that you think about it in the review. This set comes in at 3,128 pieces, as you didn't know. $200 is gonna cost you at the checkout. All right, Lego friends, here's my two cents. On a scale of one to 10, this comes in at a four and a half for me. Simply the fact that, that you cannot wield it as Captain America. Now, there's a lot of cosplay people out there and seeing something like this or bringing something like this to a con would be great if you could wield it but you can't. It is meant for either tabletop art or a wall art. As we're getting a closer view of the Infinity Saga Captain America shield, as you can see, the artwork of the shield looks great from the front side. I like how they have the brick built star in the middle. That is a nice technique definitely adds to the contour of the shield. However, as we examine the backside of the shield, we see something that's not so aesthetically pleasing. This side is the more structural foundation part of the set, which gives us the contour of the front of the shield. I feel like Lego probably should have done something to cover this side up it probably would have made the shield more thicker, but it would have been more aesthetically pleasing 360. Another thing I don't like about it is the obvious is the repetitiveness of the build. It's just my pet peeve. Some folks like the repetitiveness. I don't. As you can see from the front to the back, there's a lot of overlapping of plates and bar clips. As you can see, you'll be repeating every other, I would call it slice of the pie. So if this whole circle was a pie, you would be repeating every other and then every other to snap them in to actually make the whole entire pie. So this is a very, very neat technique to actually achieve this whole circle or shield. Of course you have Captain America. You want to see something? This is what Lego Pandemonium looks like. That's right. Seven bags dumped all over your table all at once at the same time. Pieces all over your table. Seven bags empty the contents on your table all at once for the repetitive build. This is the first time I actually built a Lego set where I dumped out all seven bags at the same time. That's a nightmare. I'm not a fan of that. But I understand all those pieces are needed to get the build done. So I'm going to pick it up to see how it looks to wield it at home. I'm trying to grab it back from the side right here. And which you can, but it is a very unnatural grip to actually pose with it. And remember folks, it is Lego, so you 
have to be somewhat careful. It's strong, but not that strong. And I can feel it breaking already. The front side of this right here is just hinge plates that are put together like clips, bars and clips. So that is very, very sensitive as well to the touch. It's about to break. <laughs> but I had to try. Other than using that pie technique, to actually achieve the full circle of the shield and the repetitive buildness, which is my pet peeve. This looks great to be on your wall or on a desk in a shadow box somewhere. Don't wheel this thing around the house. Some Don't throw tennis balls at it. I've seen somebody throwing tennis balls. Don't do that unless you're purposely trying to break this thing because it will. The strength level on this thing is probably about a two. So build it, enjoy it, marvel in it on your wall, in the shadow box, or on your office desk. That's my two cents. I'll catch you next time.